well, people can say whatever they want to say, but I maintain into this conversation and beyond this conversation that Truist Bank is a fantastic institution. It's a great institution, a little bit underestimated, but you know what? This is a great institution. So into this conversation, I want to talk to you about Truist credit cards, everything you need to know. I'm talking about the FICO score, the crazy cashback they have, the dirt cheap APR they have. You really want to tune in if you are interested in learning everything you want to learn about Truist credit cards. Welcome back, folks, to another edition of the Awesome Story Kiwi Show. How are you today? I hope you are doing fantastic. I'm doing marvelous, if you ever ask me. If you are doing as great as I am, go grab a cup of coffee or tea or vodka and let's roll. <laughs> In today's conversation, I want to give a, a big shout out to all the truest customers that are just listening to us right now. And this is a great institution. You guys are lucky. This is very good. And one thing I want to say here is that right off the bat, when I talk about the overview of this uh of uh, this uh, Truist credit cards in general. What we love about Truist is that this is actually a regional bank that's just kicking ass like crazy. Just so you know, it's actually a Truist is a, a merger between uh, SunTrust Bank and BBNT, okay? But they're kicking ass right now. Their credit cards are fantastic and I, I will tell you more about them. So what we love about this Truist credit cards is the pre-approval process. In other words, you're not risking anything. You know, you can actually just uh, go on their website and you can actually uh, pre you can see how much you can be pre-approved for. This is really good. And I encourage you to do anything and everything possible. If you live in a geography that Truist covers, I want you to do right now. Do me a favor. I want you to go on, on the website and seek pre-approval. You know why? You're not losing anything. So whether whether you are looking for a credit card or not or no credit card at all, it's always good to see what kind of uh, you know what kind of uh, your position, what kind of position you have on the risk continuum. Okay, so pre-approval is possible. And what we love about Trist credit cards is that in general, these cards can be valuable, especially if you have a Trist account. In other words, you need to have a relationship with uh, with the, with uh, the institution. I'll speak about that later on, but it's really important. Anytime you want to have a credit card with uh, with an issuer, if the issuer is a bank, it's just a lot better to have a relationship with that issuer. Okay, and so we're talking about cards as diverse as the enjoy cash credit card the enjoy travel credit card the future credit card the enjoy cash secure credit card yeah secure credit card okay and the enjoy beyond credit card so one thing i want to say right off the bat is that each credit card comes with its own distinct set of features so they have a lot of features and so the right one for you will depend on a lot of things. I have no idea of your personal situation or your household situation, but um, it will depend on you. It depends on you in terms of rewards, in terms of benefits, perks, and whatnot. So let's dig a little deeper here in terms of uh, the credit cards that we are talking about when it when it comes to truest credit cards okay so you have uh, actually a quintet of credit cards five different credit cards so when you look at the enjoy the, the enjoy cash card basically you are getting a reward in terms of rewards you have three percent cash back on gas and two percent back on utilities and groceries on up to one thousand dollars in combined spending per month okay and you have 1% on all other purchases. So this is for the first card, the Enjoy Cash card. And you have the Enjoy Travel card. So here you have 1.5% cash back on all purchases, two miles per dollar, let's say on airfare, hotels, and car rentals, okay? You have one mile per dollar spent on all other purchases. That's that's for the second card. The third card is the Future, the future card, credit card from uh, Tourist. So there are no rewards here, okay, for the future card, for the future credit card. Now for the Enjoy Cash Secure card, you have 3% cash back on gas and 2% cash back on utilities and groceries, again, on up to $1,000 in combined spending per month. 
you have one percent back on all our other purchases so this is really good because especially if you are trying to uh, rebuild or build credit this is really good because you can actually do both things at the same time you, you both things at the same time you can actually build credit which is a fantastic thing to always do but you can also reap rewards okay and the fifth card i want to share with you is the enjoy beyond card so this card is is kind of cool for travel lovers okay so you have three points per dollar spent on airfare hotels and car rentals especially when you spend this money overseas the the uh, the impact is even bigger i don't know why they're doing that way but yeah and you have two points per dollar spent on dining and you have one point per dollar spent on all other purchases so here you have it you have the enjoy cash you have the enjoy travel the future the enjoy cash secured and the enjoy beyond it's really important to understand which credit card actually will fit your situation and spending patterns are you living right now uh, are you a single or are you live in a relationship do you have children so those are things you would need to, you need to think about but i also want to say that it's not just about uh the the tourist car that you are looking for you need to think you need to look at your uh, existing portfolio of credit cards and see what kind of credit cards you can pair up you can pair this cards up with okay because that's what that's what's really important you want to optimize your credit card usage let me talk to you about eligibility so if you are looking for a truest credit card here are the eligibility requirements you need to pay attention to your age you got to be at least 18 years of age okay not a problem depending it doesn't matter where you live in the country they want you to be at least 18 years in terms of income they are basically looking at the uh, eighteen thousand dollars okay it's, it's really important that you remember that they will verify your income through uh, several means they might ask your employer to actually directly verify your employment and uh, pay with them pay with the uh, tourist okay they might ask you to provide I, th I think uh, documents as diverse as pay stubs 1099s or tax returns okay and they will ask you for a residency or a citizenship in other words again remember i was telling you earlier that the tourist does not cover the whole united states they cover a certain geography and they might ask you for your for your address to make sure that they cover the geography in which you are actually applying from okay and in terms of credit score tourist is comfortable if you have a credit score of 600 so don't panic if you have a you know 602 or 625 or whatever people are gonna you know, people people have this crazy idea of truest being a, an inflexible bank no they are just risk averse yeah like every other bank but remember that they, they have been growing their bottom line for the last few years okay and uh, so you need some kind of information to to submit your application so your full name date of birth social country of citizenship and your address your email address your phone number okay in terms of personal information they might ask you for they might ask you for your employment status remember that tourists might actually verify your employment status okay from with, with the, the lender directly so they'll ask you for your employment status they'll ask you for your total annual income they'll ask you for your your uh, non-taxable annual income i'm talking about you know if you get disability or workers compensation or public assistance okay they might ask you for your monthly housing cost this is actually a way for them to actually the uh, to calculate your dti okay and they'll ask you also for your bank account information so it's all about making sure that you have a relationship in the first place with truest so if they ask you for your bank account information they already have the data if you see if you are an internal user they have the data anyway they don't have to actually uh, depending on a third party from uh, an external bank to get the data let me talk to you about some features that you really want to pay attention to when you are thinking about truest credit cards and here i'm talking about all credit all credit cards from tourist okay not just one credit card not just the the enjoy or the cash secured no all credit cards now you have some rare features that actually stand out so they actually give you an uncommon bonus category so both the enjoy cash credit card and the enjoy cash secure credit card earn cash back for utilities which is a rare but useful category that not many other cards feature think about that i mean you have utilities i mean how many credit cards do you have right now they give you rewards for utility purchases doesn't 
you don't have a lot okay you have some kind of you have customizable rewards okay so if you you basically can uh, you can have a flat 1.5 percent uh, cash reward system or a tiered reward system it really depends okay so it's something that, and what we have seen also with the truest credit card especially the cash secure credit card and i've said this before i said this a few minutes ago so basically they have a secure credit card that offers unusually high rewards rate think about that okay so you have uh, you have three percent or three percent and two percent cash back in common spend categories this is very rare for a secure credit card and one thing i, I want to say here is that the redemption and the, the redemption options are they are a little inflexible they have caveats so caveats are really important because when we talk about credit cards they you know caveats all those things that you know in the fine prints they say something and you don't you don't pay attention and the last thing you know you are you are actually um you know this is uh, this is actually uh, hitting you in a lawsuit so caveats are important and when we talk about redemption there are minimum redemption requirements okay so for the for the cars that earn cash back there is a minimum and and the thing here is that you are on the clock really because all rewards will expire five years after you've earned them regardless of uh, which card you have so it's important to have a clear idea about that okay but in in general tourist has a very good travel cards Okay, travel credit cards fantastic they have good rewards they have good perks okay they are trying to entice you they are actually um, vying for the same market that uh, amex and um and other and chase have uh, been playing on for the last few years so this is really good <music> I want to talk to you about truest banking and this is important and I was just talk talking to you earlier you want to have a tourist bank account because it pays to have a tourist account because uh, in addition to all the, uh, the the low APR and the low um, and the low all the all the other fees you can actually get uh, a 10% redemption boost when cash rewards are redeemed into a truest personal checking account savings account or money market account okay you can receive a 25 percent redemption boost when you have a tourist dimension or a signature advantage checking account and redeem cash rewards as a deposit into a truest personal checking sav savings or money market account containing a balance between twenty five thousand and ninety nine thousand nine 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 okay so basically the more money you make that's the bottom line here okay the more money you make the more money you save with tourist the the better the the um the deals and conditions they actually shower upon you okay so when we talk about having a a true banking relationship with uh, tourist we are speaking about what we're speaking about checking so that's just beyond credit cards okay if we were speaking strictly about having a clear business relationship or personal relationship with uh, tourist make sure you have a, at least a checking account make sure you have at least one savings account if you have a, enough cash to park on the side you can probably open a semi account that's totally possible okay money markets account money market accounts are also possible with tourist okay they have what we love is that they actually have a premier bank you know so for those who have a, those of our viewers who have some cash they want to park into something more secure and they also have wealth digital banking so right now they are developing most of this in asia and europe but this is a very powerful tool this is a very powerful unit so wealth digital banking so long story short when we talk about truest banking make sure that you have an account this is important but you want to have an account with a cash balance as high as possible okay because that's what's going to to actually determine to uh, determine for a pen fed to give you a break in terms of apr or uh, not pen fed truest in, t in terms of truest actually giving you a break in terms of their aprs and the other fees they're charging you okay very important i'll be right back right after this don't go anywhere
Welcome back folks to another edition of the Awesome Sort of Kiwi Show. We are also having a conversation about Truist credit cards. All you need to know in terms of uh, the, the FICO score, the approval process and all that kind of stuff. I want to give you a, so a few pro tips here. It's important to actually seek pre-approval if you can. Okay, so when it comes to Truist credit cards, you don't want to risk your credit score right off the bat. Okay, it's important. So whether you, you, you receive a pre-qualified offer for a credit card or a pre-approval offer for a credit card, for us, those two terms are interchangeable when it comes to uh, your credit card application anyway, okay? So the bottom line here is what? The bottom line is you are, you are checking for your credit limits without actually sacrificing your score, okay? And uh, so how does the pre-approval process works? Now, you have to understand that getting pre-approved for a truest credit card typically is done over is done over the over the internet so you need to provide your annual income and identifying information right so things like uh, your name and address as well as the last four digits of your social security number so you'll so what will happen here is that you will receive personalized offers based on the card issuers initial findings okay in this case we have choice so we're also talking about you know you have to understand that uh, you're not guaranteed approval when you when you are pre-approved for a credit card in other words truist might pre-approve you but then realized while checking the account while actually looking at the account that you actually have uh, you know your profile was worse off than they had thought so it's always important to think about that one thing i also want to say here is that anytime you if you want to boost your chances of pre-approval you want to always go back to your banking relationship with pre, with the truist in other words, if you have a, a good, yes, if you have a good summer or a good fall when uh, things are good, your FICO score is up. Maybe it's, it's about time to apply for for a truest credit card, so you can get the high limits you need and deserve. Okay, they're not going to bust your ass and just ask you for questions all day long. No, they don't want that. Okay, so it's important to have a clear idea of uh, making sure that if you want to get a truest credit card, seek pre-approval. You want to seek pre-approval and if that doesn't work you want to maybe seek a, a co-signer now before i close to this conversation here is a winner strategy a winner strategy when it comes to truest we believe and this is based on our research that you are better off applying at a branch or over the phone oh yeah i mean Nowadays, a lot of folks want to apply for a credit card over the internet. That's fine. I mean, listen, you can do a pre-approval online, but when it comes to actually applying for the real deal, you want to go to a branch. You can ask. The reason is that you are talking to a rep, so you are actually establishing rapport between you and the person. Okay, so that person is calling you on a first name basis. They have a clear idea. He or she has a clear idea of what you are what you are doing. This is really cool because then you are going to, uh, you you can know uh, you have more intel about the tourist account, the tourist credit card. You have a chance to clarify requirements before applying. Yeah, see the thing the thing with the with the, the online application is you don't have no feedback. You have no feedback. You are applying and that's just a one way ticket. So you hear you hear from the lender after you have applied. But if you are able to get the uh, to actually talk to a rep, you can have a clear idea of what's going on. Remember, at a branch, approval is faster also. This is based on our research. We have seen that approval is faster at a branch when you apply for a, a tourist credit card at a branch, okay? And uh, make sure though that you bring your paperwork to the branch because they will believe you if, if you say, well, you know what? I'm making this kind of money, okay? But show us the base step. Show us the uh, the W twos. Show us the, your uh, your um, your C U R report. I mean, this is an internally re prepared report that you can do yourself. But they want to see something that shows that hey, listen, this bank after all is not crazy. Okay, so you make sure that you have uh, your paperwork approval it faster. Bring your paperwork to the branch and don't forget your tax returns. Tax returns are important also because, I mean, tax returns alongside bank statements are important, but tax returns are, are I would say, um, they are more critical because you are actually talking about the federal government, whereas for the tax returns, for the uh, for the regulations that we've been 
looking at you were talking about a um a state you know so it's all about the difference between your know, state tax returns and the federal tax returns so the winner strategy apply the branch and bring all your information to the branch so you can have a credit card application form and just uh, fill it out Thank you so much for your attention, folks. I really appreciate it. In today's conversation, I was talking to you about Truist credit cards. So I gave you an overview about the card. I spoke about the cards themselves, the eligibility, the features, the Truist banking, the importance of Truist banking, pro tips, and a winning strategy. Thank you so much for your attention. I really appreciate it. I will see you next time. But until then, remember, stay marvelous.